Okay, welcome to my YouTube channel and we will discuss the normal distribution. So normal distribution is a continuous random variable whose graph with a bell-shaped curve. So another term for normal distribution is also known as the Gaussian distribution. So first, who developed the normal distribution? His name was Carl Fred Gauss, a German mathematician in the year 1809. So, let's have the properties of a normal distribution and how do we sketch that. So, we will proceed to the properties or the characteristic of a normal distribution. So, normal distribution or normal probability distribution, number one, it is a bell-shaped curve known as the normal curve and number two the mean median and mode are equal in normal distribution we know that the mean is the average while median is the center of the middle of all numbers while the mode is considered the most frequent of all data numbers Number three, the curve should be symmetric about the y-axis. So, number four, the total area of the curve is equal to one or 100%. And number five, it should be determined the mean, the standard deviation, and the variance. So, these are the properties of the normal distribution okay and we will proceed to the normal distribution okay so how do we sketch this normal distribution so we will have another side of the back and Let's try to write the normal distribution. Okay, so this is the normal distribution. We will draw or sketch the x and y axis so in the center we will have distribution of zero so positive one positive two then positive three and the left side, we have negative 1, negative 2, and then negative 3. So, these are the distribution. Okay. So, we know that the center of the 0, you should also write the expected value. EV, we also know for this one, but we will change the sign into the mu so this is also considered the sign of the expected value and we know that the normal distribution is a bell-shaped curve so we will draw the bell-shaped curve so it will not touch us the line x-axis so we will have this one okay so take note huh? okay so this is the normal distribution 
and we considered that it is a symmetrical when we speak about symmetrical we are referring for the right and left uh, bell curve so the right curve which equivalent to 0.50 and the left curve will be also considered as the 0.50. So which is equal, 0.50 plus 0.50 will be equal to 1 or 100%. This is the normal di distribution. This is the skeleton of the normal distribution. But before we proceed to the normal distribution, we know that there are some values on this part and there are also values in the other part. So, in the books, there are some books that you can find the, the table distribution or the normal distribution. There are two ways. So, I will show you at the mostly it usually found in the back of your book so I will uh, show this one okay so let's focus in our camera so mostly these are what you call the normal or area normal curve so it has a 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 9, and 0 up to positive 3. So this is already in the center. It usually uh, adding 0 0.50000, 0, 0, 0, 0, or it can be subtracted by 0 0.500 0. but don't worry I will teach you this also on how to use this table values and the other books especially the imported ones or it may be a local ones there are also uh, another method in getting the normal distribution so we will have this a book in especially in the statistics it's usually found in the statistics that in getting the normal distribution these are the tables These are the tables so we will focus this one in our camera so how will you use that take note this is an example of a bell-shaped curve and you will see one of the part is shaded this is in the left side of the normal distribution we know that the left side are zero negative 1 negative 2 up to negative 3 so look at this one this is considered as up to negative 3 okay take note huh? 0 negative 1 negative 2 up to negative 3 okay negative 3 so we have 0 negative 1 negative 2 up to negative 3 Okay. And we will have other decimal places which considered as our decimal 0 0.00, 0 0.01. We have the 0 0.02 up to 0 0.09. Okay. Take note. So the other side will be also the uses this is the left side also but you mostly in the positive side 
So in zero, positive one, positive two, positive three. And we know that the Z distribution, we have the zero, point zero zero, up to we have positive three. So there are also point zero zero one. Point zero zero two zero three zero four, and these are the table values. But there are also some books that it has already on the right uh, table values. So there are also some books, so you, it can be directly. If you want to know, it is shaded to the right or shaded to the left. So guys, and our next topic on how to use this table, including our sketch and drawing for the normal distribution. And first, you need to have your own scientific calculator, as well as your ruler, and also your shaded like crayons, color pencil, color pens, or color pencil pen. So, please, again, and uh, use also, it should be better you use a bond paper or a nice clean paper so that you can sketch it properly okay thank you very much and we will proceed to the next level of this normal distribution